Okay, gang, exam two review. We're talking about problem number one. You know what? The thing is, when you read your test, you've got to identify what kind of question is you're looking at here. So what is this? It says, replace the given system. This is one of those equivalent system problems, isn't it? With a single force. Okay, they asking me for a force couple or a single force. This one is a single force, okay? And determine where that line of action of that single force intersects line OA, which is, uh, which is here, okay? And remember, for these kind of problems, line OA goes on forever and ever in both directions, okay? And let's just say, let's say measured from point O, okay? Measured from point O, where does it intersect like along that line? Where? I don't know. Okay? Equivalent system problems. Remember how to do these? Number one, nothing equals zero. Do not set these problems equal to zero. But step one is, this is pretty simple stuff here. Uh, I, I tell you what, I'm having a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a change of heart here. You know what I'm thinking? I think that we ought to tilt our coordinate system. You know, that's what I think, because I think it'd be way easier. Because I already have two forces that are aligned with a new coordinate system right here, right? If I call, if I call that my new Y, and I call this my new X, right? And then when I do my distance, it's just going to be down the X-axis, right? Now who's smarter, huh? Okay, so right here, let's say I had this line coming down here, right? Let's see. This is a... This angle right here is 36.87 degrees. And so, let's see here. Where is that angle? Like that, right? That's my new X. This is my new Y. And so this little angle right there would also be 36.8. Well, that's not very big. You can't read that. It's too little. Oh, it's all smudged. 36.87 degrees. And what do I need that? Because I want to break that 200 into two components, don't I? Okay. I want to have a component like this. Okay. And one like that. Okay. So this is 200 cos 36.87. And this is 200 sine 36.87. Now you could use the three, four, five trick on this, but to me, there'll be less errors if you just convert it into an angle. That's my personal preference. Okay, so equivalent system problems, here's how we do it. Step one, sum the forces in the X. Okay. Ooh, I almost wrote equals zero. I wanted to so bad, but no. Okay, so I have a new X right here. So I have minus 70, and then I have plus this guy plus 200 cos 36.87. Who else do I have in the x direction? Nobody. There's no more forces, okay? So let's do the y. What do I have in the y direction? Oh, I've got 150 going uphill. And then I got this guy going downhill. Sine. 36.87. Okay, so let's just get these two guys right quick. Okay. All right, let's see. On, clear. What do I have here? Negative 70 plus 200 cosine of 36.87 is 90. Positive 90. Okay, and that's uh, pounds. And then in the Y, I have 150 minus 200 sine 36.87. That's 30 positive. Okay. Well, that's good stuff. So then what else do I have? Oh, the next step, sum the moments about the point of interest. Let's make it point O. 
Okay, since we're measuring from point O, let's take the moment at point O. All right, what happens at point O? Well, the 70 gets knocked out. He's on the, it goes through point O, right? The 150 rotates me, whoop, that's positive. 150 times how far away? 2.5, okay? Now you see why I tilted that, that's easy, right? And then I've got this 800, this burrito force up here, which is in the positive direction, so just plus 800. And then I've got to do the moment of these two cats down here, okay? So, how do we do that, okay? This is a right angle, okay? So what do I need? I need, I need uh, this distance here, right? I need from here to this corner. I need that distance, and I also need this distance over here, right, for my two components. Uh, and this is 36.87 and another hypotenuse, right? So there we go. We want the adjacent side. We'll do cosine. So cos 36.87 equals adjacent, which we'll call the x guy, and this is the y guy, right? Um, adjacent x over hypotenuse, which is 4. So um, that's a 4. That's a 4. It's like an x over an x, doesn't it? 4 times the cosine of 36.87 equals 3.2. So x equals 3.2. And y is uh, 2.4, sort of this. Uh, but I can do it this way, right? Sine. 36.87 equals y over 4, all right? So 4 times the sine of 36.87 equals, drum roll please, 2.4. That's what he said. All right, so let's write these two moments here, okay? Put my finger at point O, the sine guy down here makes me rotate, uh, oh, that's negative. So minus the sine of 36.87 times 200 times how far away? Times x far away, right? Which is 3.2, okay? And then this guy, the cosine leg here, makes me rotate, ooh, positive, plus the cosine of 36.87 times 200 times um, the cosine is the y, which is 2.4, okay? All right, so what does all that equal? The moments about point O are equal to, okay, 150 times 2.5, 2.5, I just put 25 in there, plus 800 equals minus 200, sine 36.87 times 3.2 and then plus 200 cosine 36.87 times 2.4 equals 11.75 and that is foot pounds okay so there you go, for our system one, right? You got these things. System one, this is system one right here, the given system, okay? Now let's draw system two. Okay, so what do we do? Do you remember the steps? You can look back at that video, I have all the steps written out what you have to do here. The next thing is, you have to take all the things that we just found, bam, 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 and move them to the point of interest. So we're going to put them right there. So what, do, what does the 1175 mean? What does the positive mean? The positive means that it's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. 1175. And then what do we have in the x direction? I have 90, and it goes this way, doesn't it? And in the y direction, I have 30, right? And if you want me to find 
a single force instead of having it into two components, all I got to do, all I got to do, right, is 90 squared plus 30 squared square root equals the resultant, right? Well, at what angle? Okay. It's at this angle right here. I could just use inverse tan and find that angle, right? So it's easy to get it into a single force if that's what they ask for. Okay, so where does that single force intersect that line of action? So the next thing I need to do is start sliding it. Now the question is, do I slide that force that way or do I slide it that way? Okay, well I gotta make a, I gotta make a counterclockwise moment. The 90 is not gonna make any of the moment because the 90, no matter where I slide it along that line, is gonna go through point O and he, it's a cha-cha force. He's knocked out, right? So as I slide it this way, right, in this direction, whoop, then that 30 is going to be rotating me, let's see. Ooh, that's what I want, isn't it? So there's my system two, okay? Now, if this question would have said a replace with a force couple system, I would be done at this point. There's my force, there's my couple, done, right? But it didn't. So the next step is this, system three. Okay, system three. And so somewhere along this line, let's say it's right, it's right there, right? Now there's my force. There's the 90, there's the 30, okay? Oh, you know, like I said, right? You could calculate that too, right? 90 squared plus 30 squared equals inverse square root, inverse answer equals 94.86, right? So FR equals 94.86 pounds. That would be the single force, right? But I'm gonna leave it in component form because I think it's easier to work with. So how far did I have to slide it down that line? What is this distance right there? Gosh, I know how big the moment needs to be. It needs to be 1175. I know how big the force is are you going to use this? No. You're going to use 30. So M equals F times D. The moment 1175 equals the force 30 times D. Okay. So there we go. D is equal to 1175 divided by 30. 39.17. Okay. So from point O, you need to go 39.17 feet that way, right? Wait a minute, that's way off the part. It's like way, way off the part. Yep, it doesn't have to be on the part. It's okay. That's how far along that line of action you'd have to go to just have a single force that made the same thing as all of that stuff, okay? Is this hard? This is not hard. See you next video.